Hi everyone, it's Lisa here for Honeybee Stamps. Today I have a few cards to share with you featuring the new Flower Petals and Flower Centers cover plate dies, the Friends Stamps and Coordinating Honey Cuts, and the Floral Vases Honey Cuts, along with a few other items that I'll have listed below. Here's a quick look at that Flower Petals and Flower Centers cover plates along with the Floral Vases. Now I got started by running each cover plate through the Big Kick with 110 pound cover stock. You can use 80 pound, I just prefer the 110. I have the flower petal die cut card stock laying here on a piece of press and seal to hold everything in place while I ink blend this whole panel starting with Distress Oxide ink in the color Candied Apple. I'm going to blend Spiced Marmalade, Squeezed Lemonade, Twisted Citron, and then I'm going to finish this off with Salty Ocean. Now most of the time I wouldn't worry about everything staying in place, but I'm going to be using some of the petals on my other cards, so I want to make sure everything is blended together nicely and I don't miss any areas. So that's why I was using the Press and Seal. It just makes it a little bit easier to blend, ink blend that as a whole instead of piece by piece. Once I'm done with the ink blending, I'm going to go ahead and press the petals into that press and seal while I remove the rest of the panel from it. And then I'll be able to set the petals aside and not worry about where they are when I'm ready to use them. So here you're going to see the flower centers cut out of white cardstock. I'm going to layer the ink blended flower petals over this white. I'm going to use liquid adhesive to stack those panels together and go ahead and adhere them to a black card base. And then I'm going to just lay that under an acrylic block to dry. Now off screen I went ahead and I ran the friend die and shadow die through the big kick with black and white card stock. I used liquid adhesive to stack those together and I'm going to set those aside and let them dry while we work on the other cards. So here's a piece of vellum. You guys know how much I love my vellum. I ran that through the printer and I just used Word, Microsoft Word, and I used the Courier font sized at 11 points. I'm going to use one of the vases from the Floral Vases die set to go ahead and cut out the vellum and white cardstock. I'm using the vellum adhesive and I'm going to add that die cut vellum to the white cardstock. So this was a totally unexpected turn here that you're getting ready to see. Um, I did not plan on stenciling. I ended up doing it off screen, but all I did was I stenciled this chevron pattern onto white cardstock using black soot distress oxide ink very lightly. Then I ran that through my big kick using rectangle dies. I also ran some black cardstock through using the same rectangle dies added mounting foam to the back of the stenciled panel, and then just centered it up on the black cardstock. I'm going to go ahead and use my uh, ATG gun to center these up on my card bases that are four and a quarter by five and a half inches. Then once we have these centered up on our card panels, we're going to go ahead and add the vases to that stenciled panel. Now I came up from the bottom about one eighth of an inch. I'm using liquid adhesive to just go ahead and add these directly to that stenciled panel. Now once I have these in place, I'm going to grab some round foam adhesives and I'm going to start pulling some of those ink blended petals off of that press and seal and start arranging them right above the vase. I want to cover up the top part of the vase. Now I thought about using a black pen and doing like a stem and then having the flowers a little bit farther up, but then I just decided I liked the way that it looked with them sitting right there at the top. And then I also wouldn't have to worry about messing up my panels. So a few black enamel dots from the Back to Basics enamel dot pack in the center of each flower. I'm going to go ahead and use some black round foam adhesives on that friend word that we had cut out and place that on our rainbow ink blended card. And then we're going to stamp some sentiments. 
So I'm going to be stamping the words sending you and missing you onto black cardstock using Versamark ink. Now I've already laid down anti-static powder. I'm going to go ahead and stamp these. Now the missing you sentiment is from the friend stamp set. The sending you sentiment that I'm using are actually two words from the Brie Mind stamp set. Now, once I stamp those and I add that ultra fine white embossing powder, I take the time to clean off those stray specks with a brush and then I come in with a preheated heat gun and go ahead and heat set that. After it's cooled, I take a clean rag and wipe off the anti-static powder and then I just take it to the paper trimmer and trim them down into little sentiment strips. Once I'm done trimming them down, I'm going to grab some black foam adhesive strips to go on the back of these so that we can go ahead and arrange them on the fronts of the card. And really sentiment placement is always pers personal preference, I say. I'm going to use the missing you right there by the D in friend. And then for the sending you, I'm going to stack that on the other, um, other cards here, right above the little word on the vase. So it'll read sending you love, sending you happiness. And I do believe that's going to wrap up my time with you this week here on the Honey Bee Stamps channel. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you'll click the subscribe button and ring the bell to be notified of new content. For more information about the products used, head over to the Honey Bee Stamps website, and I hope you have an amazing day.